Hello, my darlings, and welcome to a Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, Thursday on my channel. And we're going to be getting on with a little bit more of Let's Build the Worlds. I don't know why my hand comes up every time I have to do that. But. <laughs> and welcome to the final part. What did I just spit? <laughs> I think I might have. Oh, well, leaving it in. The final part of Pam's diner and bar. Now, I've made Pam and her wife, Sharon. I'll introduce you to those amazing Sims in just a second. Um, so, yeah, we're going to crack on with the interiors today. The interior of the bar and the interior of the diner as well. Got a few little ideas. Chucked a little cheeky floor plan in. Got the wallpapers up. Don't know why I'm dancing. <laughs> We're just going to get into game because I'm doing my own head in. Let's flop on over. So here we are, ladies, gentlemen and non-binary friends. We're at Pam's Diner and Bar. And this, my darlings, a Pam. This is Pam. Pam Burrows. Um, absolutely love her. The iconic. We're going for like a rockabilly moment with Pam. I think she is well into a bit of rockabilly. Absolutely loves a bit of rockabilly. So she's going to be running the actual diner itself. You can see I've put some wallpapers on. I've been testing this. I really want to use these booths, but it just fits in weird here. I've tried to like make we're gonna we're gonna get in here and try and get them in because I just think they look great. Um and then obviously wallpapers and stuff here. I think I'm gonna do like the um what they called the waiter station or the host stations like here, so it kind of looks like they can pay for the food like here and then yeah, you know where we're going with that. Um, and the only matching kind of like high tables I could find were these. Actually, saying that, I've just had a thought. There is another one. It just came to my mind all of a sudden. Couldn't think of that one I was building. I thought of it while I'm trying to explain what's going on in here. Um, that's annoying. Okay, well, we'll get to that in just a second. Um, and this is her beautiful wife. This is Miss Sharon Burrows as well. Mrs. Sharon Burrows, shall I say. Um, and she is going to be kind of the head of the bar area. So you can see what I've done with the floor plan here. Kind of mezzanined off of this area. Annoyingly, these trims glitch through. Um, and I've tried to do the just... Uh, hold the shift just to put it on the outside and they still come through. So we're going to just sadly have to leave them as they are because Sims. Uh, and this up here, I think I would do this as a bit of a games area with some dartboards um, and some like foosball tables and stuff. I wish we had like pool tables. I would love to have some pool tables um, in here, but we haven't got that in the Sims. And yeah, and we'll make this into the actual bar area here. I thought this bar was perfect for it. This bar is from... University, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll check that in just a second. Um, and I've also added a bit more rubbish around the sides of the lots as well. Just to make it look a little bit more, you know, skanky. And yeah, I'm for it. So what I would say is Pam was married to her husband for, I'd say, about 15 years. Um, and Sharon was always Pam's best friend. They were best friends since college or no, school. I wouldn't say that these guys went to college. I'd say they probably just left school and decided to sort of like get a job straight out of school. And this is what they've got now. They've got their own business. It's, it's successful. Yeah, it's a bit grubby, but um, they love it. And the community love it. The community are always here. I'm here for it. Um, and yeah, I would say Sharon is, pr they're probably both in their mid forties to late forties, I would say. Um, you don't want to mess with Sharon. She will literally, she'll knock you out, to be honest with you. To put it bluntly, she will absolutely knock you out and you would not be for it. So don't mess with Sharon because she will have you. Um, but the traits that I've gave, uh, Pam, um, she's a music lover. She's outgoing and she's a foodie. But she's also innocent, gregarious, and a lover as well. These are from, I think these traits are from the uh, Slice of Life mod by Kawhi Stacy. Um, amazing. I kind of like how that fits her. And then over to Sharon's trait. She's hot-headed. She's a music lover. She's self-assured. Artist, hero, and amuser, which I love for her. I think they're both kind of like... Not only fell in love because of their friendship and stuff, but I think it's because of their love for music. They love 50s, like, rockabilly music, rock. Um, 
I'm going to say Sharon is really good on the guitar and she's got an amazing singing voice as well. And she probably performs at the club, some um, the bar some nights as well. When she's in a bit of a drunken state, she just whips out a microphone and off she goes. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love these two. I think they really, really suit each other as well. Beautiful ladies. Um, I love, I don't know why, but I absolutely love the way Sharon looks. I love that she's a little bit stocky, a little bit muscly. And then we've obviously got the beautiful curves um, representing those curvy zims on Miss Pam Burrows. Mrs. Pam Burrows, shall I say. Don't know where her husband will be. I reckon he was probably um, an alcoholic. And I reckon um, Pam probably had enough of it. Enough of... No, I wouldn't say he was aggressive or anything. She was just fed up. He would go missing for days and she didn't want to be in that marriage. She was unhappy. She confide, confided in Sharon and these two fell in love. And to be honest with you, they probably always have been in love. But um, yeah, as soon as the marriage ended, these two got together and they've probably been married. I would say, I don't know, mm, probably about 10 years. I would say so. About 10 years. And I love them. I absolutely love them. We've got some great storylines going with these. I think Pam definitely is the community loves her. The yeah, community absolutely loves her. Um, and the community does, they do love Sharon as well, but they're a little bit more weary and a bit more scared of Sharon than what they are of Pam because Sharon, again, would slap the tits off of them, which is iconic. Am I going to go for it? Yes. Anyway, let's get building. First things first, I want, I want these chairs. I think those chairs match in really well with it. Now, there was a high table. I've just reminded myself of it. I'm going to leave this uh, menu out as well so we can see that we've got everything. Um, and also, you guys have also said, and I completely forgot, that I don't have to change the, but the venue type or you don't when you download this because they will use the bar area. So we're not going to put a bar area in here, obviously, and keep it in here. So the Sims will come in here and use this, but I don't think they'll use it as a bar per se, like where they'll... Will they play with the games and stuff upstairs? I have no idea. I wish The Sims would just... I don't know. Oh, yes. This table here was on about perfect, isn't it? Um, yeah, I wish The Sims... Whatever you put on the lot, I wish The Sims, no matter the lot type, would come and play with the objects. It doesn't seem to work out that way whenever I've done a kind of community build, which is very sad. And I'm not for it. Come on, have a... Have a oh, do we want to go red? Oh, I think we do. Oh, this is going to work perfect. Okay. Perfectly, my loves. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, we've got one of these. We can put three there, 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 and there. Now, do we want to change the colour of these now? Now that I've got bright red tables in, I may go... Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. What about that one? Mm, no, that's not really the vibe I want. I think that other one was the best what was that that was this one yeah this one because it kind of ties in that floor let's get that grid off so you can see what i'm doing ties in that floor nicely and also it's got a little pop of red there as well and a bit of yellow um i'm not really feeling that to be honest ignore the ceilings as well i've still got that mod in at the minute uh i'm not feeling that nope not feeling it i do think the red was probably the best one what about if i change this to black let's have a look at that eh no maybe white yeah i think white would probably work the best i don't want too much red you know because it's got blue and everything i use these blue tiles here love how these blue tiles look with the toilet doors don't know why love blue and red together i think it's the um because it's my country's flag colors <laughs> i think it might be that but i'm kind of here for it these lights are from the university by the way i absolutely love them i think they're brilliant we're going to do that. Yeah, I like that. Again, ignore the ceiling. Ignore the ceiling, my loves. Um, yeah, I'm for it. Absolutely for it. Okay. Um, do I want to do... Yeah, we need to do some kind of like rug moment here by the doors as well. Just so they're not dragging crap off the street, even though this place is a bit grubby. I know people have been asking me why I didn't make this place grody, considering I mentioned it about 20... Oh, is this the right rug I'm using here? Uh, no, I don't think it is. Considering I mentioned it so much last time, like the grody sort of trait. And it's because the Sims are, are sick whenever they eat something in a gr on a grody lot type. I don't want people puking when they're eating in here. So I just made this place filthy instead and it still gives that kind of vibe to it. I would imagine the kitchen does say the cleanest. I would imagine Pam's quite particular on keeping the kitchen clean. 
in itself, even though it does look a bit dated and stuff. Um, but the rest of it, she's not really bothered on the outside and never gets the windows washed and stuff. Like, just a little bit chatty, you know, like a proper greasy spoon. Greasy spoon place. Okay, so I don't know what to put here. Hmm, what could I do there? Maybe just up some couple of plants or a plant. Yeah, maybe just a couple of plants here. Maybe I could use that cactus. That would look good here. Oh, it does as well. Look. Oh, he looks smashing. Oh, he looks very nice there. Yeah. Yeah, just a couple of plants here, I think. Why bloody not, you know? In fact, just the cactus is doing it for me, to be honest. Tiniest um, welcome mats in the world, but we're not going to let that come between us, loves. Absolutely not. Right, now this is what I was trying to figure out. I really want to use these booths. I think it would look... This is what I tried first off. I'll show you what I tried first. I was doing this. Oh, well, I wasn't doing that. I was doing this. And then... Well, let's get you out of the way. I did another one on this side as well. I was like, oh, that fits in. But... And I was like, I was excited for it. I was like, oh, this looks great. From above. <laughs> From above, so below. In fact, let's try and whiffle them together a little bit more. I hate that you've got to move the table when the table's on it. And then I came down to this level when I was like, oh, I'm not really sure about it. I think it's because it's blocking the windows. And they're so high. The backs of them are so high. But I love the look of them in here. And I've also used these tables as well, which were from the Star Wars Packers 2. Um... Now I'm looking at them. I don't really like them. So maybe we can find a different table for them. Um, surfaces. Surfaces. And did we have a matching table to this at a short height? I don't think we did, did we? I'm going to say no because Sims. Oh, that would work. Oh, maybe not. Oh, doesn't this have patterns on it? Oh, it does. But they're a bit more kind of. Yeah, they're not going to fit the vibe. Good shape, though. Good shape. And does this fit on here? Oh, it does look. It does fit on here. Now, I think I'm going to use the Star Wars tables. Why are they different? Why are you... Uh... <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. What if I boosh up? See, I hate the way that they work. The tables, I'm not for it. What if I put the table there first? I mean, the booth there first and then put this in. Like, why? Just, just, just. Why is it not allowing me to put it there? There we go. Yeah, I think they're cool. And I think I am going to use these. I know it's blocking off so much of the window, which really annoys me. But because of the layout of here, there's nothing else I can do about it. And this space here is absolutely screaming out for a jukebox, I tell you. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Oh, I can use the big one in here. Oh, it's very big, isn't it? Oh, she's... Oh, what if I put it there? Like, right in the door. Oh, yes, let's do that. Goodbye, Cactus. Goodbye, Cactus. We're going to use you. And I like this swatch as well. I think the swatch works really well. Is that cutting in anywhere? No, we can get in there a bit tighter. Oh, yes. Yes, that's a vibe. I am going to still use these, though. I think I'll put one either side of the jukebox. Maybe these are like plastic cactus. I wouldn't imagine there'll be real plants in here. So we'll do some fake cactus everywhere. You know, je ne sais quoi. Be. I'm for it. Yeah, you know what? I'm all right with it now. It is blocking off a lot of that window. It really is blocking, but, you know. <laughs> That's all I've got to say on the matter, really. I want to use them and they're staying, to be honest. Yeah, I'm for it. Right. Okay, let's get everything we need in here now. So, toilet wise, I think we'll use the kind of get to work toilet. Can I fit you in here? Oh, no, because I need sinks and all sorts. I need sinks in here, loves. Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah. Shame, but oh, well. Um, So I used to get to work toilets in here. Um, We'll put the toilet there and then we can put the sink around here. That is not the right color to use in here, though. I'm thinking like more along the lines of that. And we'll try and block up the window there as well. With... Uh, a blind or something. Extractor fans. I put all extractor fans on everywhere. Going into the kitchen. Some pipes and stuff as well. I've been I've been busy, my loves. I've been busy off of camera. I've not been just doing nothing. Not at all, loves. Absolutely not. 
Yeah, okay, okay. Sink-wise, probably just a normal pedestal sink. Or oh, these ones, they would really fit in here. I can't remember what under... Oh, they've got a black and red one, look. Oh, that fits the vibes. Lovely. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that and I'll move the toilet there. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll move the toilet there. So they're quite big toilets for how big this... For how... Maybe I could shorten the toilet down? Let's have a look. Let's see what we can come up with. Because then maybe that's freeing up a bit more space in... The, oh, it does. Oh, I like that a bit more. Okay, right. I'm going to whiffle that to there. Should be able to use that toilet. No problem. And we'll do the same there as well. Doop to do. Doop just had to check I was recording. <laughs> oh, just my luck. Just my luck, my loves. Um, Thank you so much for your comments last time. I've read through them. Haven't answered them all yet. I will be doing that once this video is rendering. Um, so expect some replies off me, my loves. Love reading through your comments. But I need to stop reading through them in bed. Um, because I, I read through them and then I'm like, oh God, I've got to go back and answer them now. Like, and I don't mean that in the way that you think I mean. It's like, I should just read them and then answer them. That's what I usually do. But like in the past few weeks, I've been reading them in bed. And then, is this the right blind to use in here? I think it might be. And then answering them the next day. So I'd rather just be fresh and as soon as I see them, I'll start answering them that way. I think that's better. Yeah, that looks better there as well. We'll do lots of neon signs and stuff around this place as well. I think that's only right that we do that. Only right indeed. Yeah. And I think like a waste paper bin as well in the toilet. So where are we going? We're going into the kitchen. Just a waste paper bin next to the toilet. Ugh, why did I not copy that? Thank you. And here. And a mirror. Um, It just needs to be a generic. Yeah, like this. But we'll do it in that colour there. Stunning. Stunning. And then maybe some like... Oh, where's those wall decorations from Get to Work? I think... No, don't turn off that. I always do that. Get to Work. Wall decorations. Here we go. Stunning. Right. Paper towel dispenser. We'll put that above the bin. In a silver. Gorgeous. In a silver. Gorgeous. And maybe that like... Shut the hand wash thing. We'll do that there as well, next to the mirror. Yeah, beautiful. But I do think the toilets need to look a little bit grubby. So maybe we'll do some water stains in the toilets. Just a little bit. Ugh. But they smell a little bit. A bit like stale wee, you know? That kind of whiff. It's got that kind of whiff to it, my loves. That kind of whiff. Yeah, a couple of these. I'd love some more. I, I know I say this all the time, but I'd love some more of this, like, detailing that you can put into your builds to make it look a little bit grubby. I don't like the way that that looks. It looks a little bit copied. So I am going to maybe use that smaller one. Where are you, darling? There you are. And just put that like behind the toilet, maybe a bit behind the sink as well. You know, just to make it look a little bit. Ugh. And maybe I could use this in here as well. But so, in fact, let's use the hat. Oh no, the, the corner. <gasps> does that fit in here? Oh, it does look. Yes. And then I'll put it on the other side. So maybe there's a leak coming in from outside. Oh, and for that. I don't know if that's the right colour toilet. I think it maybe needs to go a bit darker. Yeah, that colour. That's better. Oh, that's much better. Oh, stunning. Let's move the lights as well now that we've shortened these toilets down. Oh, yeah. I prefer the flow through there, actually. It helps widen this space up a little bit more. And I'm for it. Really am. Oh, I'm thinking you, I could probably get a couple more tables here. Um, I could probably get a couple more tables. But the only problem with that is finding the right ones. So give me a second. So I decided to use some kitchen counters. Put them in a circle. It kind of balances in the middle there nicely. Yeah. And I've still got enough room to get around there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh, I like that. I do. I very much like it. Okay, I think what we're going to do is concentrate on getting all the bits and bobs in now. So I'm going to put... Let's go to restaurant items. That's the easiest way to find this stuff. This is like the host station. Um, This is what I want to kind of make it look like as a uh, kind of payment kiosk. So 
maybe I'll use it in that tone. That probably looks best. If I can do maybe try to do two. Nah. No, we'll keep we'll keep to one. We'll keep it to one. And I'll use the waiter station as well. Where's that? Where are you? Oh, there you are. We'll use the waiter station next to it, maybe. Um. Come on, swatches. Work with me. Mm, maybe I'll do that there. Or do we want to put that there? Let's see what that looks like from the other side. Oh, that looks good from the other side, actually. Kind of adds a little bit more detail next to it as well. Yes. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we've got all of the objects now, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. We just need to worry about getting details and stuff in here. Let me get. Let me go and pull out some clutter objects. So I pulled out a few of these like condiment things with all the sauces and stuff on. Also the branding, obviously, of the diner itself. I pulled a few of them out. One more being over here. And I've also done some more neon signs around. I just think it's fitting. It's fitting and I'm for it. Right. I think we need to put down some of the, those non-slip kind of looking rugs um, all around this area where the waiter passes and stuff. I think that would be great. <clears throat> I've put a bin there, but I think I'm going to do another one up on this corner as well. Just in case, you know. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And I think I'm just going to make this place just look a little bit rancid as well. Just in places. Not too much. Just, just in place. Oh, come on. <sighs> Let's try that again, shall we? Right. It's just, it's just gonna have to go there. God, I need choked on my tongue again then. <laughs> Getting angry. Choking on my tongue. All right, we'll put it a bit behind this sign as well. See, why did why can I freely place these but not them ones? Such a tit. An absolute boob. We'll do one either side there. Come on. Right there. And there. And maybe a crack going through some of these tiles here would look fitting. In fact, let's size it down so it's just a little, like, a few little cracks here and there. We all like a crack in here, don't we, darling? We do. We really do, sweetie. There we go. And here as well. We'll do a little crack going on these tiles. Just trying to make it look a little bit, a little bit loved, shall we say. Or unloved, however, the way you look at it. However, the way and they would they would love to do this place up but they just don't have the funds for it they don't have the funds for it they'd rather concentrate on keeping the prices low for the community you know keeping the prices low for the community i'm gonna make their house kind of reflect that as well like their house isn't going to be the the kind of newest or best looking house in the neighborhood but I'm for it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is giving me vibes. That's giving me vibes. It really is. Okay. Kind of here for it. Do I want to put in a couple of ceiling fans? <clears throat> I think I do. I think I want to put in a couple of ceiling fans in here. I think it would work. Um, Not at this size, though. I think I'll size them down. Are these the right ones to use? I think it is, really. Yeah, we'll pop a couple of these in. Maybe one more there. Just to circul circulate the air a bit in here. Is that in the middle? It is. And where are you? You're not directly in the middle. Which will frustrate me. So I'm going to put you there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting vibes with this. It's all about the vibes, loves. All about the vibes. Right. I pulled this out as well for the kitchen. So let's get the kitchen looking like a kitchen, shall we? So they've got this. They don't really need fridges and stuff. But as I've said before, I always like adding them in anyway when I'm doing a community build involving a restaurant or something. I always like to kind of just keep to that factor, you know. So I think I'll add in an orange one. Maybe, can I, is there a grottier version? Oh, there is. Yeah, we'll do that. So again, kitchen's going to be clean. I'm not going to do any like water stains or anything in here. I would imagine she's quite hot on keeping the kitchen clean. She doesn't want her business being shut down for that kind of thing. So whenever the health inspector comes, um, I would imagine he's like, mm, the place could do with a bit of work, bit of work, Pam. But your kitchen is perfect. Your kitchen is clean and I'm for it. 
I am. I'm really for it. Right, and then a dishwasher would suffice in here, I think. A dishwasher there. Stunning. And then I think I'm going to do a sink there. Maybe use the this one. The one from Dine Out there. Just to get things washed up and whatnot. And what else do we need in here? Maybe some storage. Let me go and... In fact, is it in restaurant items? It might be in restaurant items. Uh, no, it isn't. Let me go and pull out a few more bits. So I, I, I think this is great in a kind of diner or restaurant. It's an object from Dine Out. Love that. Um, and I think what I want to add up here is I definitely think we should get... Should we get in an espresso, exp espresso machine like this? Or shall I go for just the normal... I think I'll just go for the normal coffee maker. We'll go for the normal coffee maker and then we can have tea and stuff then as well. Just in case they want a cup of tea. I don't think you Americans drink a cup of tea, but you're having tea and that's all there is to it. And mm, do I want anything else there? Maybe not. Maybe we can just start putting some uh, decor on now. As in some, this is for like takeaway. I imagine people come in before work and grab a bacon, a bacon bat. A bacon bap or whatnot, you know. Can I, without you snapping to there, right? Go away. Go to there. Oh, please don't be cutting into anything because I will slap a child. It's a child. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it like that. Those cups on top are small cups. Okay, moving on. Let's get some of these slip mats in here as well. Nope, that was a water stain. <laughs> Let's get some of these going, flowing through there to there and there as well. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, stunner. Stunner. Absolutely stunner. Right. Can I pop you maybe there instead? No. No. We'll put it back where it was. And I think I'm going to get one of those bins and just place it in there. I don't imagine they would use this anyway. But I'm going to put it there anyway. Okay, and then I'm going to get some objects on the walls. Um, let's just let's filter it all for dino because there was some great stuff. Yes, these for a start. We'll do two of them. We'll do two of them in case they want to do some frying or whatnot. You know, oh, we should have put a menu out. Should have put a menu out somewhere. I mean, I wouldn't imagine they would need it much because... I reckon all the community have their favourites and they know what to go for, but I'm going to put it there anyway and then move you to there. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. What other swatches does this come in, like, pattern-wise? Mm. No, I think we had the best one. Yeah, we'll go for it, but we'll do it in a grey. Yeah, there we go. Okay, extractor fan got going on here. Um... Any other, like, bits and bobs for the walls? Any other? No, not so much in here. Let me go in and find all of the um, kind of spoons and stuff. I'll bring some of them out. Okay. Yeah, I've hung all of the spoons up there, put a few pots and pans up on the wall there. I think this kitchen is exactly the way I want it. Exactly the way Pam and Sharon want it, actually. Um, I've changed the colour of the fridge as well. The orange was just popping out a bit too much for me yeah i'm for it i like how the kitchen is the diner i think is completely done my loves the diner is done Ooh, yeah i like how it all looks i like it i'm liking the vibe in here liking the vibe in here okay we're gonna crack on and get on with the bar here we go into the bar area i've actually changed the orientation upstairs to fit two of those toilet stores in i just think it suit the vibe of the bar up here so that is what we've gone ahead and done we'll crack on with that in a little bit so it's kind of shortened down to this space so i could still fit a fool's table in here maybe a dartboard up here which i'm not too bothered about that should be all right so bar, i definitely think it needs a jukebox as well but maybe in that brown color it's a bit bright that one there we go that's better yes yes we'll put this one here lovely let me just get a feel for it. Feel for it in here. Okay, we obviously need some bar stools. Um, dining room. And these ones. Um, and I think 
just using something a little bit old. Oh, do you know what ones would look great? These, these ones here. I think they suit this bar the best. Like the bar style. Yeah, we'll go for these. One there. One there. One there. One there. Stunning. Stunning. Now, where's that object from? Is it get together? I think it's get together. No, not you, darling. Show all. Um, Where's that bar backdrop? That I tend to use a lot in the odor bars. I just think it really suits it. Where are you? There you are. And is the wall big enough in here? Uh, why? Oh, what is this supposed to go? Ah, oh, it's because it's short down below. So I can't use it because it's going to creep through. When I size it down, the mirrors go weird behind it. Oh, well, I'm just going to hide the mirrors. Hide the mirrors. Yeah, I do want to use it. Can I like overlap two of them? Let me see. Let me see if that looks weird. So far, so good. Oh, Christ. Maybe if I just move it back just slightly. Yeah, it's not glitching anymore. Yes, perfect. Not the right colour, though. Needs to be darker. There we go. And that one as well. Oh, that's very chocolatey brown. It's very cho- Oh, it doesn't come in a good wood tone. I've just remembered. It doesn't come in a good wood tone at all. So we're just going to keep it like that. <laughs> That is the vibe. Okay. Still going to keep this exit free. Um, I was going to put like a counter and maybe a gate here, but I'm going to just keep it free. Going to keep it free just in case I need to get out of a fire exit. I may even actually put a fire exit sign above that, you know. Um, Where is that again? Oh, God. Decorations. Wall. Get to work. There it is. Yeah, we'll do that up there. Stunning. Stunning. Okay. Okay. Right. And do you know what tables are going to work well in here? Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Tits out. Um, This one. Oh, I think it will. Oh, you bet your tits it does. Is that the right tone? It's not, but it's not too bad. Oh, that's even better. Stunning. Yeah, we'll do a few of these everywhere. We'll do one there. One there. Oh, I want to get th at least three tables in here, loves. We need to give them space for dancing, actually. So maybe I'll whiffle them up a bit closer and pop them like... Ah. Oh. There. Let me try this. Right. One of you. One there. One there. Do I want to put four? Yeah. We'll do four. Okay. Let's just get all of these on first and then I can whiffle them around to where I want them to be. Okay. And then you there. Okay. And then you, there. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, they can dance around the table. They got a little space here. <laughs> Treat themselves. Treat themselves. Yes. Well, this is coming along rather nicely so far. It really is. I like the lighting in here as well. I want it to be a bit dingy. I don't want any more lights to be in here. I do want it to be a little bit more dingy. Um, What do I want up on this wall here? I need to think. Ended up going for a TV, my loves. I think it looks stunning. Absolutely beautiful up there for it. Really am. I may do... Ugh, I don't want to put any more lighting in here, but I think we need just a couple more sauces. Um, I think we just need a little pop. A little pop of a sauce. Oh, this would work. <gasps> Why can't I do that below the TV? Let's do that. Yes. Below the TV, we'll do, we'll pop that there. Is that cutting into that chair there? It is slightly, so I'll move them. I don't think Sims are going to be able to get behind there anyway. No, they're not, are they? So I do need to move this a little bit. Maybe I need to like move that over as well. And then I've got more space to be able to put the chairs out. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'll whiffle them over a little bit tighter. You'll probably see in a couple more things I've added as I'm doing this. A sofa. Which I will now maybe... Oh, I can't put it over there now. I'll keep the sofa there. I'll probably do a little table next to the sofa or something. And also, I changed the bar backdrop. Um, using the one from Strangerville. Are those like pickled eggs or something in there? Ooh, pickled eggs can absolutely do one. This was too big. So I had to size this down with the tool mod. Just to make it kind of fit behind the bar. And I'm, I'm for it. Very much for it. But um, let's get that grid off. 
yeah. Yeah, I don't need to add a, a sauce in now either, which is great. And I think what I'm going to do is add in, oh gosh, she scared me then. <laughs> a few of these plastic cactus, cacti even. A few of the plastic cacti around the place. Yeah, we'll do one there. I'll do one here as well. Stunning. And then a little table just next to this. Um, What one should we go for? Maybe the one from Island Living, actually. I mean, Jungle Adventure would work well here. Yeah, just somewhere for them to place, put their drinks. I'll change the orientation of them so they can still use it. They should be able to get through this barn, no problem. Let me just see from in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's giving me vibes now. What do I want to put there, though? Maybe a bin? I think I'm feeling a bin over this area for some reason. And maybe quite a big bin. So maybe like this one. You know? Yeah. And I'll pop you there. Oh, yes. Yes, indeedy. And now I want loads of like memorabilia and stuff on the walls. So let me go and pull loads of stuff out. And I'm going to plaster it everywhere like a heathen. Decorate it up a little bit. Put in some objects, including a guitar and things. I think that would really suit Sharon. She's into her guitar playing. Um, some more neon stuff as well. Just some more memorabilia on the walls just to really decorate it through. Same over this side too. Just think it adds to it nicely. And now out in this area here, I put an extra table. Also a juice keg. Um, some of the plastic looking cactus. But I also did an ATM machine. We're going to pretend that this is not a stolen ATM machine. I've put it right there so they can draw out some money. To get some more drinks or whatnot. Yeah, I'm kind of living for it. Kind of living for it. Kind of here for it. You know, all the above. All the absolute above, to be honest. Excuse me. Now, above here, what I wanted to do was a dartboard. An absolute... Can I do it there? No. It needs to be like here, doesn't it? Um, In that tone there would be perfect. I need to get it into a strategic position because I do... Want to get in a foosball table up here as well. Now, I was thinking about adding a ping pong table in, but they take up so much room. Let me see. Oh, that kind of does fit up here, though. It is giving me the vibes. Maybe we'll go for a ping pong table instead of a foosball table. Because this also takes up a bit of room. And I haven't got no space to put that. Um, can they get into that toilet door there? Maybe I'll move the toilet door to there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think I am. I'm going to add in this. I'm going to add in this instead up here. Yes. And I think what I'll do is also put in some speakers up here too. Just in case they want to listen to a bit of a different... Oh, I know. In fact, I'll use the mini jukebox here. Yeah, I'll put the mini jukebox in the corner here, just in case they want different music upstairs to downstairs. Oh, they are aggravating me. But look, I'll show you exactly. Look, boop, boop. And then it's disappeared from there. Why be at nighttime here? Um, And then I'll put the high tide. I'm holding shift and then it still creeps through the wall. Look, so they're just going to have to stay there. And we're just going to have to pretend they, they don't exist, my loves. That is the only way we're going to get through. We really are. Oh, I've also added a few of the... Um, stains and stuff on the floor. Just think it suits it. The grody look, which I'm for. Not in real life. Because my Virgil ass would flip. I would flip my shit. I would. I'd be on the floor, my hands and knees like Cinder fucking Rella. <laughs> Trying to make everything clean. Yeah, maybe some of these in here. Some of these old posters. I know these are Brindleton Bay, but shush. What about you? What are you? Oh, no, you're still fish. What are you? Oh, you're a prawn. Oh, bugger it. I'm going to use the prawn. <laughs> yeah, why not? Bit of that. <laughs> Bit of that. And, um, and I'll add a couple more pictures up here as well. Um, eh? No. Cute, but not for here. Absolutely not for here. Um... No, those don't work either. Maybe a couple of movie posters. Yeah, maybe. I know this is supposed to be a game, is it? Is it not? I don't know. Don't know, but maybe just a couple of movie posters around. I'll put that one here. Yeah, and I'll move this one into the middle. I don't want this to be too heavily decorated up here anyway, really. But I will go 
ahead and add some of the watermarks inside here as well. I don't think they'll show up on the walls as such. No, they don't really. Which uh, Oh, they do in that tone though. So maybe we'll add a few of these in as well. Again, I'm trying to keep that vibe going. Doesn't have to be excessive. I just want a few going around. Maybe I could do like a big one here. Can't really see that, but I know it's there. And that makes me feel absolutely moist. So we're going to do it. Yes. Oh, Christ. Um, And into the toilets. The loose, if you will. Um, And I think I'll add in the exact same sinks as what we used in here. And I'll just do two of them. Two of them right next to each other. Right next to each other. I wish we had urinals. I'd love to see some urinals in The Sims. Why haven't we got that? Why have we not got urinals? That's what I'd like. Sexist, if you ask me. <laughs> um... Okay, and a few of these, a couple of these mirrors in. Stunning. Um, probably don't want to use the red ones in here, though. We'll just stick with a plain white. Plain white. And we'll get in a little bin. Gorgeous. Just next. And I'm not going to go searching through that place. So I am going to go back into the diner and just pick them in. You will plop. That will do one of those. And then I'll do one hand wash thing. Just by the middle there as well. Just by the middle. I'd love to see hand dryers as well. The Sims I put the hands under. Have a little dry. Oh, be all about that, my loves. I would. I'd be absolutely all about it. Right. You can go there. Is that right? Yep. And then I'm going to do a big stain in the middle. That's piss, by the way. Just so you know. That is piss. <laughs> So you can imagine the stench of this place. <laughs> okay, and I did an extra little entrance here, which I may go ahead and if I can get you, because I think it might be in the same place, and then go into Strangerville, because they did have that little, oh no, maybe it's not Strangerville. Maybe it was, oh, oh do you know what? I don't think anything really needs to go there, to be honest. Let me find something, actually. I just went for one of the storage kind of like racks from Air Dine Out that we used. I just think maybe there's an extra bit of storage there. Now, up here, one of you guys had a brilliant idea rather than the sun lounges. Um, and that was using the sofas. A sofa on the roof for them to come up and just chill out. I'm not going to do much up here at all. I just think this would be the perfect area that um, Pam and Sharon would love to just come up and just chill out after hard days at work. Come and watch the stars. We'll use one of the Grody rugs as well up here. Grody again. And just somewhere where they can come and just sit and chill. Sit, chill. And watch the stars. And maybe some candles just for extra romantic purposes. Yes. And I use the ones from... Um, where are you? I can't see them. There they are. Just use a couple of these. Maybe a coffee table. Yeah, maybe a coffee table. Oh, but I've got space to use this big bastard. Lovely. Yeah, we'll use this. Yeah, that one. Yes. Let me see what that looks like at night. Oh, imagine I'm sitting out here watching the stars feet up. Lovely. I'm going to put some musical instruments in this bar as well, actually. Just in case the opportunity arises where they all want to sing song. We all know um, Sharon would be well up for that. So we need to give her a really good... Yep, that rock legend one. We'll give... We'll put that... In fact, we'll put that behind the bar. Put that behind the bar and maybe use one of the cheaper guitars out here just in case anybody... Wants to get that opportunity to have a little sing song. Would they be able to get in there? They should be able to. If not, they're fussy bastards. They really are. Really are. And I'm not for it. <gasps> okay, I think we're done. I think we are done. I'm going to give you a little pan through rather than doing a video talk for this one. Um, Once again, that's disappeared. I'm thinking, is it worth me putting a bloody ramp there? Because it just keeps disappearing. I'm so sorry, my friends. It's The Sims. I'm just going to have to put stairs there. I did try and put a ramp there, but they just it just keeps disappearing. Just keeps disappearing. So I'm just going to stick steps there, which is a shame because I really liked the idea of it. But The Sims is once again not working with us. 
and I'm not for it. Um, main reasons being, we still have the Strangerville Let's Play part to come out. I know that was probably it was supposed to be today. But again, I'm following. When I'm inspired, I just got to ride that inspired wave. And, uh, and it's taken me to here. Oh, so maybe now I can use that there. Uh, and you'll see this anyway, because I'm going to do a Let's Play in the Let's Play part, which I promise you is coming on Monday. <laughs> um, we I will make sure to show the diner and stuff off in that part, but we'll do a little walkthrough now anyway. Um, let me just do a little bit more of this detailing that I was doing. That is not the right tone there. Oh, God, I'm getting rid of it. Um, in fact, what am I doing? Let's just do a little bit of that. There we go. Just lightly press it just so it looks walked on you know and there as well just for details loves details all in those details yeah cool okay so let's get all the roofs up hello darlings they're outside look she's like honestly honestly her vagina was this big and i was not for it i'm sorry right into the diner ignore the ceilings that should be a catchphrase. So, nice little jukebox area. Lovely. We've got this little area going on. I do like this diner. It's got a feel for it. It reminds me of what it's reminding me of Strange of it. Um, Strange. Life is strange. But it kind of is. Kind of is. Imagine uh, Chloe's mum working here. Oh, I was like, where the horse might. Where's my kitchen? <laughs> and here it is. The kitchen. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Obviously, we've got the little booth area going on over there as well. That's great. We'll just show off one of the bathrooms. Stunning. Piss on the floor. Great. Oh, it looks ever so grody. Ever so grody. And then, obviously, the bar entrance is down the alleyway. So, we've got the bar here. Let's get the stretched vibe coming out. Right through here into the bar. So, obviously, we've got the upstairs going through there. This is the main bar area. Ugh, I'm for it. I really am. Um, I'll do a little tour of the back area as well. So the staff areas. Or just where the bins are kept. The bins, I imagine some dirty doings going down this alleyway. I bet there's lots of people out there getting up to no biz. To debauchery, shall we say. Um, with, especially with the Wicked Whims mob still installed. And then up to the little game, kind of game mezzanine area too. Um, again, into the toilets. Oh, God, I can imagine the smell of it in there. And then you come through here, through the little staff, kind of like storage area. Up some stairs. And then we've got that little roof terrace area as well with their little sofa and stuff outside. <gasps> I'm for it. It's done, my loves. It's done. Yeah, I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. Uh, cool. There we go, my loves. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, this is going to be up in the gallery for you guys to go and download. Uh, it's under the Devon Bumpkin hashtag. Bumpkin? Why did I say it like that? Devon Bumpkin hashtag. hashtag. Um, all one word. Remember to get your move objects on before you place any of my builds down on the lot themselves. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be back tomorrow with a spooky speed build based on a very famous horror movie and it's going to be head turning little clue for you there and then i'll be back on monday so have a lovely weekend i'll say that again tomorrow uh with a strangerville let's play part and some new fresh builds for next week as well so yes i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much and i'll see you soon goodbye